Like most of you watching this video right now, I thought that getting in shape, like really getting in shape, required eating clean. So chicken, brown rice, broccoli, five small meals a day and never cheating on your diet. I thought that losing fat was hard, that it required an unachievable amount of discipline. But one day I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw a video titled, how I get shredded on Chipotle, pop chips and chocolate. And so out of pure curiosity, I clicked on it. That was the first time that I heard of Greg O'Gallagher or Kino Body. And that was the first time that someone had explained to me what intermittent fasting actually was. And on that day, my life changed forever. Hi, for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Matty and I'm a male model, physiotherapist and fitness enthusiast. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five ways that intermittent fasting changed my life. So the first way that it changed my life, in the morning, when I wake up, I don't have to worry about what I'm having for breakfast because that normally takes time, that takes preparation. And once I've eaten some food, I don't feel like I'm at 100% focus. So by skipping this part of the morning out, it means one, I can wake up a bit later. I still wake up relatively early anyway, but all it means is I don't have to wake up extra early because I don't have to worry about eating breakfast. I'll consume about a liter of water just after I wake up to hydrate myself. And then about 90 to 120 minutes after I have fully woken up and been up and about, I will have my first dose of caffeine, which is normally a black coffee, like an Americano. But sometimes I'll add a little bit of oat milk in just to make it more drinkable. Anyway, this has meant that I could be more productive and more focused on tasks that I have to complete. So my hardest tasks, the ones that take the most willpower, are completed in this fasted state. The second way that intermittent fasting has changed my life is through the many health benefits that it offers. Since I've been intermittent fasting for the last seven years, I only normally get sick about once a year, and that's the flu. Everyone gets the flu. Now there is some scientific research which has been conducted on mouse models that suggests that the immune system is made to become more efficient with these periods of fasting. There have been no human studies, so most of what I'm saying is based on anecdotal and observational evidence, but a lot of people who do intermission fasting have noticed the same thing. I've also noticed that I have become more insulin sensitive. So for those of you who don't know, diabetes type two does run in my family. My grandfather has it, my uncle has it and my father has been diagnosed with it. However, because he's gone on a ketogenic diet, he's managed to reverse negative health effects of diabetes type two, which is fantastic. His blood sugar levels are now at a normal level. There's two types of diabetes. The type one is where your body no longer produces insulin. And the second one is where your body becomes insulin resistant. So type two is the one that my family members suffer with. At present, my blood sugar levels are fine. I'm still only 28 years old, so I'm still relatively young. But what I've noticed is that since I've been doing intermittent fasting, I've become a lot more insulin sensitive. So what I mean by this is after I have a carbohydrate dense meal, I will feel a little bit more sleepy about 60 to 75 minutes after. And this is because my insulin has spiked. The third way that intermittent fasting has changed my life, it made dieting so much easier. So a couple of years ago, I competed in kickboxing and I had to make a certain weight. So I was fighting at about 72 kilograms and intermittent fasting helped me get down from where I was, which was in the high 70s, around 77 kg to about 71 kg. So I managed to lose about six kilograms of weight through this intermittent fasting protocol. The fourth way that intermittent fasting has changed my life, it fit really nicely into my lifestyle. It was more sustainable. I'm someone who likes to eat big meals and I like to eat out and go out for dinner. Even when I am dieting, because I use intermittent fasting, I save up most of my calories for later on in the day. And it means that I can go out and eat these big meals and enjoy my time with friends. And if it wasn't sustainable, then I wouldn't have been able to keep up intermittent fasting for the last seven years of my life. The fifth way that intermittent fasting has changed my life. So for those of you who don't know, I used to have really bad acne and there was a number of changes, a number of lifestyle changes that I had to make to clear my acne. By not consuming breakfast and drinking more water in the morning, I helped actually to clear my skin a little bit better. So as you can see, for a number of reasons, 
I feel like this was multifactorial, but the fact that I was drinking more water definitely contributed to it. And overall, I just enjoy my life a lot more. I remember in my late teens and early 20s, I could eat about 4,000 calories a day and not put on weight. I could pretty much eat what I wanted and not put on weight. But as you get older, your metabolism does slow down. By using intermittent fasting, it means that I can still eat the way that I'm accustomed to eat in two meals, so lunch and dinner. And because I'm cutting out one meal, essentially what it means is that I'm gonna have a better handle or better control on my caloric consumption during the day. This is actually what Terry Crews does. For the last eight years now, I have been intermittent fasting. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is have a glass of water. Around 10, I have an espresso. He is actually shredded to the bone. He's in fantastic shape at age 50. Yes, he's on some TRT, but he uses intermittent fasting. And because he only has two meals a day, he's able to keep his calories under control and stay in great shape all year round. Let me know in the comments down below if intermittent fasting has changed your life and I'll catch you guys in the next one.